Oh, hey, Tubby. <laughs> hey, Apollonia. Are you gonna help us out? So Tubby and Apollonia are gonna help us out today. So today, we gotta get ready for fall, y'all. I mean, it's, it doesn't really feel like fall. We're gonna decorate the front fall flower bed. How about that? Yeah, so we figured we might as well vlog it because you guys like seeing us do a lot of, uh, come on, Tubby. Do a lot of, uh, <laughs> yard work okay. and whatnot <laughs> now i mean it's been a while since i did the yard i ain't did the yard since the beginning of the semester so today i was like good i got a day of no school work where i can actually do the yard we gotta take the pool down i gotta cut the grass i gotta get to my garden area over there the one that's flower beds right here and then let me show y'all too i plan on hitting up this area back here yeah it don't look great that's my herb garden right now and i got stuff over there see yeah uh, that's my my garden over there with the muscadine vines it needs to be cleaned up it needs some work uh the kids already started doing the leaves i'm gonna go ahead and finish the leaves and cutting the grass and then Dewana's gonna be working on the gardening and the dogs Not they're okay. gonna keep isaac busy right tubby you know keep him busy Right, guys so i'm pretty much gonna get this area prepped i'll let you know what flowers that i purchased and i bought and bushes and all that but all these old mums and other plants and leaves and weeds i'm going ahead and prep it get it out of here Alright guys, so we finally, well I finally have everything laid out how I pretty much want it to go into the garden. Um, as of right now, I think it looks really, really good. We won't really see until I get these holes dig. I really, I have to make sure the holes are deep enough so these roots can get down and soak up all the nutrition and water that it needs. And that's going to be tough for me because I never really had to use a shovel and dig as deep. Usually I just use a little shovel. I mean, wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to let you know what plants we actually have right now. Some of these plants, we got them half off and I'll let you know which ones we got them like 50 percent off these plants are called the crimson barberry i'm not gonna try to pronounce this because i'm not good for pronouncing but you see the name listed here below but these i thought were really cute they were only three bucks originally eight dollars and i mean they're shrubs so they should last they look pretty pretty nice they do have a little sharp points the kids shouldn't be in there anyway we also have some mum the lady did inform me that mums they say they're perennials because they can come back we're here in georgia so if you keep them nice and watered and you keep the roots down and you can keep them pretty much covered with my um with the mulch then they could possibly last and bloom again we got these white ones i think that it makes the house pop we really wanted to go with lighter colors just so it doesn't clash with the background of our house because it is kind of dark we also have these creepy genies which i think are absolutely beautiful i love how the color is popping and it's a perennial so it's going to come back every year we also have these white pansies now pansies they don't come back and uh come back every year so these are annuals and we also have these violas these are all also annuals and these do not come back but they're gonna look good for the moment and my favorite plant of all has to be this beautiful plant from southern living plant collection it is called sunshine you can see that it looks like the sun is shining on it it looks absolutely beautiful i just love the color and how it just pops like just sticks out at you and then the last one this one is curtis favorite plant or shrub i should say this one is the hella japanese holly i think it's called he said that these were over in germany his grandma used to have some and the smell of these bushes he he would never forget like he was five the last time that they were there and he said he's never forgotten that smell so i wanted to make sure he can relive that and we bought these these were actually originally about i think 17 dollars. we got them for eight bucks that was pretty much a steal so if something doesn't go well with them we can also take them back because they're supposed to have a guarantee for a year so we're going to keep our little tag here in the receipt so just in case something does happen all right y'all so here is how it is looking this is the front so far before before I actually put them into the ground. Curtis just informed me that I have to cut down all this because these are spring plants. I really don't, I don't remember what they're called. I looked it up once, but I know that um, hummingbirds, they love these plants. But as you can tell, they are really stringy. It's usually really, really full in the summertime. So I'm pretty much going to go ahead and just mutilate this whole area. We do have a couple of uh, herbs over here, like some oregano. Thank you. 
Yeah, so I was gonna start cutting the backyard. I forgot I gotta get this thing down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this pool down. I, I've been procrastinating. I drained it a while ago, so now I gotta take it down and clean it. I'm gonna go ahead and take it down, clean it, and then I'll be able to finally cut the backyard. when I drained it. Now I'm gonna be doing all this extra scrubbing. All right, so I finally got the pool put up. And as you can see now, we've got all this space for our um, fire pit. Isaac's on poop duty. But now it's time to get all these leaves and get that one of the final cuts for the year. Because this yard needs it. Once we're done with that, I'm finally be able to put that fire pit back up. All right, guys, as you can see, I cleared out this whole area and I put some mulch down. It's clear now. <laughs> because uh, the one of them got soccer practice but here is the finished flower bed for the fall what y'all think i think it came out pretty good i gotta finish blowing the leaves and stuff and then i think i'm done all right y'all so yeah i'm still outside it's starting to get dark so i want to go ahead and give y'all a final reveal i was working on one of the bushes uh because this thing was getting kind of it was getting a little, little overgrown so i went ahead and cut that down but yeah so here is the planter bed with the with the big bush. Here is our herb bed for now. Yeah, so here goes our our flower bed for now. Like I said, the backyard I got it taken care of. I'm gonna put the fire pit up. See, I went ahead and started my muscadine vines, cutting it back. I gotta get through all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it out, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did watch the end, go ahead and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so you get the latest and greatest. You'll get all updates on videos as soon as they come out. Check out our Instagram page for more pictures and videos and um, share. If you see something you like, go ahead and share it. And fall garden out.